It's Victory Day at Whitmer High School. Members of the football team, cheerleading squad, and band have gathered at Memorial Stadium to learn a valuable lesson in giving back to the community. It has the atmosphere of a big time Friday night football game. Panther players run through a tunnel onto the field. For this game, there will be no opposing team, interceptions, penalties called, or a final score. Every play, though, in this game will result in a touchdown. The fix is in, but nobody cares. It gets me closer to my community and the people that's in my community. This is a chance for students in the Washington Local School District with physical and mental disabilities to play football. Their mentors on the field are members of the Panthers football team. We see them in the hallways every day and it's nice to interact with them and give them a chance to do something that we love to do that they can't do all the time. Before the game, Brandon Muldenke gives the Panthers a locker room pep talk. He's the team manager and will play in his third Victory Day game. Brandon has cerebral palsy. My message would be give the best you can at absolutely everything and you're sure to be a winner even if you fail. Watching all the smiling faces, it's hard to tell who's having a better time, the Panthers or the kids they're mentoring. Oh yeah, every year you come out of here inspired, ready to play for these guys. And who knows, maybe more victories for the Whitmer Panthers during the football season because of what happens on Victory Day. I'm Dick Berry reporting.